today we will uh, see the structural analysis and building information modeling the structural analysis many of you very much aware and uh, many of you may be experienced in the field but i will make you sure this session will uh, make you do it in better way will not miss or some of the things which may not be familiar to you and uh, the building information model is so uh, one of the big topic uh, you nowadays uh, many of the companies doing this uh, activity to solve uh, many problems in the buildings we'll uh, go with uh, what we going to see in our uh, presentation which is uh, basically about the structural analysis which will cover uh, basics of structural analysis and design and the uh, software used and how we do the mathematical model in the software and the properties of uh, the members okay and uh, loads how we supposed to uh, calculate the loads in which way we supposed to do the loads in the program it's it's a basic one but it will be a key point to do note while doing the modeling and design and uh, the later stage we will uh, see building information modeling and building components or the building information modeling okay the first part is about uh, structural analysis why we supposed to analyze the structure since any mason can do a building without any engineer or somebody else but why we do need a structural analysis for a particular building or structure because we engineers know how the load acting on the structure which is the most important thing for the fellow civil engineers okay we need to know how the load acting on a structure so that we can able to transfer the load properly to the foundation the key point first what are the loads acting on the structure and understand and the behavioral response of the whole structure and the individual members to ensure the structure is designed properly analyzed properly then only we we will be ensured this much column size or this much beam size is enough for our load and request behavior recover and the and the structure purpose need to be solved in a engineering way otherwise anybody can say some uh, for this much of a single floor building this much is okay but what uh, what is the important thing a single floor st structure which is having a hundred ton of weight over it a mason or any layman cannot design but we do can uh, justify as per our calculations and uh, science we can prove that the structure is safe enough to carry those heavy loads so we need to know what much of load is acting on the structure and how the structure behaves and we do have a load and we do know how the structure is behaving and we need to find a proper way to transfer the load from the top to bottom whatever loads from the roof or intermediate floors should be properly transferred to the foundation because the analysis design part not only stops how it behaves how to find it behaves but also to find it is safe how to find it is safe we have to prop find a proper way of load transfer so that uh, the structure will not collapse we will find a proper member size 
and the material property required for that load and the behavior. So we need to be very sure how the load to be transferred from top to bottom. This is the basic common sense all the structural engineers should have in any time, not only for the structural analysis, but any kind of engineering activity requires this uh, basic common sense. Now I am talking about the site activity also, because some of the structure we are designing and we are transmitting the, I mean, we are communicating to the site with the drawings, then also need to understand how it behaves, how the load is being transferred, which one they have to build first and which one should not be built before that. This common sense should all the civil engineers should have and we do have this sense so that we can do this, uh, the load pattern and the load analysis in an easier way. And after doing all the structure, the superstructure analysis, we have to find a proper foundation or end because nowadays we do have a lot of improvement in a soil mechanics because we can improve the poor soil by lime injection or stone column or we can go with a pile if the soil is uh, too weak to carry our loads. So the question is why we cannot do that, but how we can do that in any situation. Uh, for example, for an interesting story about this foundation in Russia, they are doing on a gas exploration project. For that, they have to design a pile. Okay. The pile should take care minus 300 degrees Celsius, which means it's almost freezing. Anything you put minus 300 degrees Celsius, it will be frozen. That much temperature is there. We have to design a pile for that. So in early stage, if you say in the early engineering, they will say it is not possible to do a project in that location where minus 300 degrees Celsius of uh, temperature is there. It was not possible in the earlier stage, but with the advanced science in material and the structural analysis and the civil and the structural, we come up with a n number of solutions to do any type of difficult job in anywhere. So for the Russian project, it was the alloy used, which can withstand minus 300 degrees Celsius. So it is not the factor where we are doing, but how we are doing. To identify these criteria, we need this basic sense to start a structural analysis program. In the basics, uh, what I am discussing is a, a very basic uh, uh, line which will allow us uh, to explore any kind of structure. It may be a mechanical or civil or any kind of structure to be analyzed. This basic uh, procedure need to be followed we, without our, with our knowledge. We will follow these steps, then only we can conclude a proper solution, analysis and design. Uh, we will uh, do it now as a checklist. So we will not miss or it, it is an easy way to start a software learning. Any software, if you can't take any software, you have to do this uh, basic uh, checklist. And these checklists to be properly done the software because software to software there will be a difference in the parameters tabs and the procedure there will not be a same pattern to be used but there is a common line if you want to apply load you have to apply load 
but which command you have to use that is different but main purpose is you have to apply low so if you want to take e tabs or sap or stat pro or gt student any software if you want to take these steps to be followed them so that we can uh, learn all the softwares without any as so for uh, structural analysis we need a software to design why we need a software it depends it's uh, reduce the complexity of uh, doing uh, calculation by manually and it will increase the productivity in the company and it will uh, reduce the error error which uh, computational error it's not a blender blender error error will come in software as well as in manual but we are talking about the errors which our mind keep on follow it okay so we require a software in the software we have to model the structure whether it is a small building or a big e field tower whatever it is the structure to be modeled in a proper way for each type of modeling there is a procedure if you take a for a steel structure how you have to model how uh, the releases you have to give the for each type of structure there is a particular procedure we have to follow so modeling is very much important in software structural analysis and a uh, property if you want to do a structural analysis you need a sectional property material property and the overall structure property and the uh, loads and the boundary condition this is the basic factor to analyze the structure so what how it is linked with the structural analysis you need to know uh, which kind of member can be taken which kind of uh, forces for example for a small beam say a bamboo bamboo string cannot hold a 1 ton weight of uh, water tank how we can how we are defining it if you calculate the bamboo material and the sectional property with respect to load for simply supported you will came to know that much of load will make the bamboo stick to fail so it is very much important in the structural analysis we have to choose a proper material and sectional property for the members and loads and the combinations the loads any structure can be defined in a proper way by the loads otherwise we will miss something for example if you want to design a commercial structure like a mall you cannot apply a residential load on those floors because it is uh, intent of purpose to use as commercial they will store material there there will be a lot of people to uh, gather there so we have to consider those things so for the loads it is very much related to the purpose of the building or structure and where it is located and so on we will discuss it in the coming slides and the load factors combination and factors it's uh, with respect to in which kind of uh, design we supposed to do whether it is uh, limit state or working stress it depends which kind of structure we are doing and which type of um, analysis we are making and the boundary condition for any problem we know we need a boundary condition otherwise the problem will keep on go endless this it, uh, it is the fact even in our structural design 
we need a proper boundary condition which will make your structure stable and which will have a key point to break for our structural analysis the load transfer point or it will ensure which type of support we have to give for the proposed structure okay and analysis after doing all these steps we will analyze the structure based on the analysis we will get the forces and we will design the structure okay these are the, these are the basic structural analysis steps or checklists or basic line whatever you call it but it is necessary to understand all these basic steps in a proper way so that uh, we will not miss anything for software i have just listed the popular software in the field apart from this there are many software used nowadays but we will just uh, for um, presentation sake i have listed the popular software and all the softwares require the same amount, amount of input and it will give the expected output in different format but we will get all the results in all the softwares in their own format for example statpro etaps sap and gt strudel safe mat3 for example statpro is a multi purpose software we can say it we can model any type of structure we can give any type of load and we can do the thing and we can run the software while we are doing a building the heat taps will be more helpful in which way in the accuracy of result no but it will be easier in the practical way for example in the column we can place the boss as we like where the site going to be placed if you want to face the boss only in two sides and third and the other two sides you want to keep some two dummy boss we can keep it and we can uh, check the results with the dummy boss but in stat pro we cannot do that but uh, we we do have a uh, manual checks so it depends uh, which kind of uh, software client actually want and which kind of uh, output uh, really we want to impose to the client so it's both uh, how much time we supposed to take and the cost impact also there in the software section and sap it's it's a uh, nothing but uh, e taps as is a concern the environment will be same uh, but it's like start pro only anything you can do it there will be a few features uh, not be there which is uh, e taps having detailing pause so this sap sap 2000 similar to start pro and the gt strudel gt strudel it is used to do finite element dynamic analysis in dynamic means uh, for the very much important foundation like um, a turbine foundation or a nuclear foundation or something which to be studied properly in all aspects need a proper fine and element analysis which will give you element by element of forces and results which will not be required for the regular buildings but for special buildings secure the gt strudel also a one of the softwares there are so many softwares can are being used for uh, finite element analysis like uh, ansys truecad and so there are so many softwares or available in our market for uh, finite element analysis too 
the safe in math 3d these two softwares are used for foundation design the safe is a byproduct of uh, C csn so we can get the results from the tabs app to safe and we can model the foundation and check and whatever we are doing in the safe can be done in SAP and ETAPS and in StatPro with some kind of assumptions and a proper input of a soil spring. So it is advanced software. Now we can do it very quickly with this safe and mat 3D. These softwares are internationally recognized for their better outcome.